Hi, this is Doug with Design8 Studio. I received a request via the V1 Engineering Forum about how I'm using drag chain not only for the X axis of a Lowrider 3 but also for the Y axis. So this is SketchUp where I have the uh, concept for my plasma table which is almost complete. Um, I'm literally at the final stages of it. Uh, but in this SketchUp file Anything that I need, <clears throat> anything that I need to design to 3D print or to design it to make sure that it doesn't conflict or collide with anything, I go ahead and put it into this model. So, if I orbit around, you can see that I've modeled the. Dr this is a really large drag chain that I designed and 3D printed, um, and with a plasma you need uh, large drag chain. Looks like I've accidentally got two copies of the x-axis drag chain here. Uh, must have been an artifact from some work. Just ignore that. But you can see that, uh, let me mention a couple of things. One is that I designed this part here which is uh, a, it's, it's a remix of Ryan's hose hanger part, only this is a drag chain hanger part. It's got holes for mounting the screws and it's also got slots for zip ties and it mounts in the exact same spot where the hose hangers mount. It's just the right dimension for the drag chain that I designed. Um, I also designed uh, this part here and this part there matched set they attach onto the top of the core using zip ties that go into the zip tie holes on the core and the zip tie comes across and tightens down in this little track here and I also made this part for holding the cord of a Makita router or, or other router um, there are screw holes for mounting clips like this on either side you can put one here um, and this part uh, is available in a mirrored version that comes off the other direction uh, and these that come off this way. It's also available in one that sticks out longer before it jags over. Uh, but that is how we're getting the drag chain attached on the top of the x-axis and then um, for the drag chain on the y-axis I drilled holes in the bottom of my table uh, here and here and here and I ran some aluminum uh, L bracket out to put a larger piece of aluminum L bracket as a track for the drag chain for the Y axis <clears throat> and you can see that the Y axis drag chain brings the wires up and this let me see if I can get this extraneous um, one out of here. Okay, uh, so this is how it's actually supposed to look without that extra copy that's not needed. Um, so, anyways, I was saying I made this a kind of a uh, 90 degree raceway part it, it conveys the wires around the bin and it attaches the same screws that attach the lead part of the drag chain also attach the lead end of this onto one of these uh, drag chain holders and then more screws attach um, to another drag chain holder here and that way, between the two anchor points and these side ridges, and it being kind of a thick, uh, strong part, it's able to stand out in space here and suspend uh, without sagging. And so then on the other end, um, the uh, lead part of the other drag chain attaches here and goes down around. And so then it provides a stable place at the bottom for the wires to come out and head to wherever they need to go down underneath the table. Um, I should mention that 
the drag chain parts are available on printables and I had planned for this 90 degree raceway to be available on my Patreon page uh, which is patreon.com design uh, patreon.com slash design a studio uh, but if you wanted to make design one of these yourself it's not that complicated of a part uh, just knowing what you want to mount it to and where the screw holes need to be you'll notice also that I peppered it with some little slots for uh, zip ties and zip ties are really handy to tie a batch of cords I needed this big fat drag chain and this big fat raceway because that set of cables, a set of wires that uh, goes to the plasma torch is a big honk and thick set of cables. Uh, and so anyway, this is totally built and in place. I've already got video of it working, but uh, I don't have that video edited yet. So this is just a quick way to get something for you to see. Uh, hope this helps. Again, this is Doug with Design 8 Studio.